Want some candy? I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I hear you looking for candy, man, bitch. Give me some sugar, baby. Like scary movies. Uh huh. Want some candy? <laughs> Halloween, Yin's little jagoffs, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Candy Podcast with, as usual, Oubliette Sparks from Tsunami Bomb, myself, Hello. Screamin' E from the Memphis Murder Men, and our homie, Scar, no. from Down the Hatch no. Food Reviews. Me. And today, it's a special Halloween day. Or maybe before yeah. Halloween, depending on when this comes out. Anyway, today, we don't even know. We don't even know. We're going to discuss we don't know. <laughs> George A. Romero's sequel to Night of the Living Dead, the 1978 zombie masterpiece, Dawn of the Dead. But before we get into any of that, it's time for some. Wait, no, it's not. What? what? Uh-oh. What's in what's in back what? the fuck up? E. All right, we're backing up. Boop, boop. It is time <laughs> to talk about Scar's recent elopement. Oh, <laughs> well, I Dude, actually Scar just got married. I did, I did. It's me. Yeah, and I it did was that. Beautiful. It was, it was really cool. And it was, it was stress free and easy and i'm very pleased to say that but yeah no it was good it was good <laughs> that's so good at my restaurants yeah. we do a lot of weddings and events and like everyone comes in to plan and i'm like no this place is plug and play i want it to be easy beautiful whatever but you got married in the redwoods we did yeah it like, was at a well we so we just did the ceremony there and then we actually went and got food at a pizza place um so it was like not yeah. far from there and it was one of those things they were like it, it, they, I mean, it was like, you know, it's like one of those like wood fired pizza oven places and it's in a mm-hmm. smaller town. And so it was really nice. But like they took care of everything. Like it was it was kind of like with what you just said, like how you're like, oh, you yeah, know, we like doing like doing things easy. These people like took care of it. So I was like, Ooh. so yeah, we got really good pizza. And yeah, it was pretty. It was hot. It was hot as shit. Right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, other than that, it was good. Yeah. 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 Mary Brick. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, married. Yeah. yeah, my uh yeah, it was my stepmoms and then my my friend Christina helped me make it. So it was really good. Yeah. I Worked saw out. that and you plugged her. What's her uh name? so it's Green. her name's Black Lotus Clothing. Yeah, and then she runs that awesome. whole um that Airbnb haunted manor or what was it something like that? She probably oh, killed me. She does? Wrong. Oh, yeah, that's her. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, she does oh, that cool. too. So like she's I didn't she's realize it was the same person. Because yeah, she she's, did a great job in your dress. You did like the before and after thing. Yeah. It was like Yeah, she's rad. So cool. Yeah, no, she did a great job. But yeah. Awesome. The, and that, that is Congrats definitely not horror news. <laughs> no, it's I know, not. That's why I stopped and I you don't motherfucker. <laughs> well it's we funny have, too. Like, oh, some real I news. mean, well, I mean, who knows how it went? I wasn't gonna just assume. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait a few years and see. Well, it's funny where too because I was about. To, I was about to be like, well, I don't have any anyway, so that, I guess that could be. However, <laughs> some people have been telling me, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll they're see. like, oh, you just wait. You just <laughs> give wait. it time. I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> it's all sure. That was not horror news, but now it's time for some. All right, who's got some horror news? Although we already know Scarlet does not have horror news. It's not a lot of horror news. I, I mean, there is kind of, but it's not fun stuff. Or at least yeah. I care about. Well, <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, this is the time of year. Everything's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but a lot of the news is really dumb. Bullocks. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to embrace the dumb and Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey now yes. has a part two. No. Oh. And they have 10 times more funding than they had on the first one. And the Jesus. first one, they had a budget of 100000 I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? We, when we talked about this movie, not that it was terrible. But to warrant freezing, if none of you see this, I just broke. Yeah, ten on the podcast to warrant this. ten times the funding. I don't think it was that great. Yes. Listen, the original had a budget of less than a hundred thousand, and they made more than six million. Holy sh! Well, that I mean, that's a good return. Yeah. So now they have a budget of one point. Five million for the second, and they are embracing <laughs> the fact that we wanted some sex scenes. Yes, which I didn't necessarily want like a full sex scene to that Christopher Robin shit. Like, how was there not like a BDS just something more in that? Right. Yeah. Right. And it will feature more than thirty kills, and they are putting most of the money into the kills. Okay. And they are bringing in rabbit. And the others good that we thought they would be there. So I'm honestly I'm here for it. That is an initial thing into a um I mean what's it called when a brand gets like a franchise the public or yeah. a universe. No, no, no. Winnie the Pooh got went public. Oh, oh, oh like public domain. Years old. Right. Right, right. So it was an initial low bud lowish budget movie into a public domain franchise. Obviously, we had notes. Yeah. Did this oh, one. Speaking but, of speaking of that, I'll when I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'll, mental note, public domain stuff. Mental but note. yes, yeah, awesome. So I mean, fuck it. Maybe they'll do some shit and hopefully hire some people to make it a little better. Because you're gonna hire porn stars in the movie, and they're gonna walk in with Christopher Robin strung up. Come on. Yeah. I didn't need a porn, <laughs> but there should have been something, some nipple tweaking. Like there's got to be something. It was just like. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. I agree. We agreed. So hopefully we'll get it this yeah. time. Yeah, that was mainly my big horror news. All of their stuff is like, ugh. But Ridley Scott did give praise to the new Alien I movie. I saw that. But Ridley Scott, I think, is like getting old, see now. So yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, my first thought was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fool me I once. Like Googled his yeah. and I was like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it Just can't be. You off. Yeah, it can't be any worse than fucking The Exorcist Believer. Mm-hmm. Have either Which of you seen that yet? I mean, uh, tomorrow, and I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking watch it. I mean, it's. I don't blame you, honestly. Yeah. No. So, I started watching Goosebumps today, but I did go. not want to watch that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like. Well, I like how they're. Pulling in all the stories together as you watch more episodes, yeah. it makes it all one big thing, which is fine. But no, so two of my employees didn't know I was on this show and they found it randomly. And then they were like, I heard some girl named Oubliette's voice. I was <laughs> like, Oh my God, that's my boss. I'm like, Yeah. So that's yes, funny. it is. And I admitted to it when they asked me. But both of them asked me this week. Did you watch the new Exorcist? And I'm like, no, I don't think I'm going to because everyone said it's a pile of shit. Like, there is not one person ever mm. I have seen that says it's good. And usually, at least one person like stands on that fucking mountain that's like, watch this. Right. Not one. Well, yeah. Even not the people fucking one I've seen that were like, oh, I loved it or it was, it was okay are like part of the, uh, toxic positive horror group that like no matter what comes out oh my god it was great and you're like oh people did yeah. say it was good there i saw a handful of people were like i don't know why everyone's shitting on this i thought it was good and i think they're lying well, but i think the lizard yeah. people i see it you know yeah it was it was just a pointless fucking movie to be made like it was completely pointless they put some weird shit. David Gordon Green fucks everything up. He had one good and shot. And paid $40 million yeah. for the brand. And now they made well, a movie that sucks. Well, it's 
it's yeah. part it's part one of a trilogy. That. He's making two more. Oh. Well, I, when they bought the brand, they said they had a plan for like yeah two series, eight movies, <laughs> like a whole thing. It's so they fucking paid forty million yeah. dollars before they made anything, and he still stands by it. I mean, good for him, whatever. But and people literally can't fucking eat. Not Mm-mm. to sound like a bleeding heart. <laughs> like, not even people. There are puppies right now. <laughs> I need dog food, and some fuckers paying forty million for the Exorcist franchise, making that shit, which I haven't seen, but what I've heard, right. it's bullshit. well. Uh, I, I'm blanking on the actress's name. The mom. Um. Oh fuck. The fuck's mm-hmm. Linda Blair's mom's it. name in there. The actress. Anyway, Helen Bernstein, right? Or Ellen Bernstein? I don't know. I think. Yeah. Anyway, so like she's mm-hmm. in it throughout, and then she talks about how her daughter's gone, but she like disappeared, and they can't find her. And oh, they bring her back. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No, so she's fucking dead. No. I guess it's supposed to be like a direct sequel to. The no, Exorcist. I mean, but the actress is dead. Uh, I'm not sure actually, but she is talking about how Reagan has been missing for years and she doesn't know where she's at, like throughout the whole fucking movie. And then Wait, <laughs> literally, so this cancels Exorcist two and three. Yeah, yeah, this is just like a direct <laughs> sequel. Yeah. That's what you mean when it doesn't. Oh, need to be a yeah, I didn't know hey. about that. Yeah, it's yeah. Point. So she's talking about how Reagan's just been I missing and canceled out. Awesome mm-hmm. And she d- oh, doesn't know where she's at, but she's not giving up hope that she's still alive and that she'll come through the door one day, blah, blah, blah. So the whole movie happens. And then literally 20 seconds at the end, Helen Bernstein gets her eyes bludgeoned out, gets her eyes poked out by the one of the possessed girls. So she can't see. And she's sitting in her bed at the end. And Linda Blair walks in literally for like 20 seconds and she's like oh joe is that you like her helper or whatever and she's like touch grabs her hand sits down no mom it's me and then they hug and then that was that was it <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the end of the movie and i was like oh wow dollars. i'm like wow so you banked on wow. these legacy characters in there and i mean helen's bernstein she's in it enough but the last lit I'm and I'm not kidding, literally, like 20 seconds is Linda Blair just pops in. And it's like, it's me, mom. Embrace credits. <sighs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. We and yeah. And then the, the rest of the fucking movie is just bleh. it's pea that soup. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Super good. Sounds great. Uh anything else, Oubliette, for horror news? Nope. All right piggybacking off of your public domain thing apparently night of the living dead will no longer be public domain and the rights are going back to some good people within the george a romero universe so that's awesome i'm glad to hear that because they got jacked out of money for the last 40 years Fit, you know, 50 years, I guess, almost. Um, but that's rad. I found that out through the grapevine. I was like, oh shit. And I'd ask my buddy, I was like, wait, that's awesome. Unless it's going to some shitty people that we don't want them to have the rights to. And he's like, nope, all is right in the world. I was like, score. Cool. So that'll be cool. Um, and there's not a lot of horror news that I thought was cool. But I did want to recap a little bit of Monster. There was a NECA oh. thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The NECA thing. I mean, when doesn't NECA do cool shit? You know what it is, right? Well, which one? They've, yeah. they've been dropping a bunch of new stuff so for the, the season. Dracula oh, yeah, yeah. Glow in the dark. Yep, yep. To meet well, up with. Me happy. It does. I love glow in the dark stuff. I was going to mention <laughs> that, too. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, well, they still got to come out with who else? I think they just came out with the Phantom. And then I feel like I'm trying to think what the old Remco Remco ones had. But, yeah, NECA is still killing it. Um, the other news I want to talk about was 
a little recap of Monster Palooza, which was awesome. I know Scarlett, her son of Monster Palooza, I know you went to Monster Palooza in yeah. June. That was rad. Yeah, it was rad. Sun Monster Palooza was cool. It's smaller, but for me personally, I like better because you can get around more and actually talk to some of the actors that are there. Even if you don't want to buy stuff, you can just shoot the shit with them. Because, especially because if there is like an icon or a few icons that are there, people will get in line super early and just wait in that line for them. Like this time, Elvira was there and Linda Blair and a handful of other people, but people were like 150 people deep in line for hours because she was only there for like four hours each day or some shit like that. So that also gave you free time to like, buy your shit because there's also panels going on at the same time so it's like a quarter of the crowd is there already in line just waiting for their fucking eight thousand dollar autograph and picture opportunity (laughs) for whatever movie star and then another quarter is it some sort of fucking panel um texas chainsaw massacre uh two that panel was cool they did a whole panel on that so that was fun um and the joe bob jamboree in vegas which was hot as yeah. fuck. Tell the story. So anytime I urge anyone to go to one of these things, because it's an event and it's an experience, but it's like a punk rock experience. If you've ever been in a punk rock band and you know how a punk rock show goes, it runs on that type of time schedule. <laughs> You're like, oh, wow. all right, three o'clock, this thing's going to start. Or we're going to do a meet and greet at three. Plan on like maybe oh, four, four thirty. <laughs> because it's it's fun and it's cool to see everyone and people you don't get to see all the time but they try to do and god bless them for this they try to do a lot of shit like the door doors the gate opens at two o'clock so you could get in there with your car do whatever and then they have like some karaoke and some bands play and this and that wait the joe bob jamboree has karaoke yeah yeah which would be cool if it wasn't on a fucking on blacktop next to a stage with Ooh. no cover in Vegas when it's a hundred no. degrees. <laughs> um, oh. yeah. So there's Friday stuff like that. I, I mean, I get what they, you know, they wanted to everyone to have fun. It would be cool, but they should have that stuff on in like, they should have designated tents, like inside. 10 areas, you know? Yeah. I mean, inside would be great, but they did a cool thing where, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to it. Scarlet. But I'm sure you have, Oubliette, the Golden Tiki in Vegas. No, I've seen it, but I've never have been. I have not. It was before my time. Going to uh, it's a pretty cool little bar. But yeah, on... my, one of my really good friends bartends there and does all the shrinking head ceremony. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, they did that. They did like a, so it was a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday event. Thursday night, they did like a, uh, like a pregame there. So Joe Bob and Darcy were hanging out and they did like some little shrunken head thing. I think they did a shrunken Joe Bob head they gimmick. Did. It's super yeah. cute. So that was cool. So you got to go there and hang out and we got to hang out and, uh, and you know, you get to hang out with them and they're just all and having the drinks. Does it is a Disney Imagineer. Oh, yeah. well, that's awesome. Yeah. They have DJ and shit. I, I mean, it's super cool vibe. So I hung out there and saw our buddy, Brian who we had on the show before and a bunch of other friends. Um, <laughs> and then Friday was like at the drive-in, they did like a barbecue thing and another meet and greet for photo ops and stuff. And that was cool. And then they, sh- that, w- that was the international uh, indie film award thing. So they show a bunch of indie films like all night and then, you know, choose the best one or whatever i didn't stay for that i was like all right i came here to get my barbecue i'm gonna eat i'm gonna get the fuck out of here because it's hot as fuck and then saturday was the roger corman night which was so fucking rad because he showed up and they did like a long oh, he did? interview yeah and it was fucking rad and part of my horror news that i wanted to talk about is he confirmed i don't know if there's a lot of information on this out there or if we even talked about it a while ago, but they are, he did confirm a uh, reboot of little shop of horrors that he's going to be involved with. Oh yeah. 
I was like, whoa, okay. like that was fucking awesome. So we we got to listen to Roger Corman and his wife and one of his other co-hosts that he had a, actors he had in a movie talk about a lot of shit. Which is rad because that dude's old as fuck. Like, what is he, 93 or 97? Yeah. Like, yeah. super old. I was going to say, really? And, yeah, they were doing 70 years of Roger Corman, which is fucking rad. So, that was cool. And then they did his, what they do, A Bucket of Blood um, and a bunch of other movies. I can't remember the names of them right now. But <laughs> that was Saturday. And I have flight at, like, 730 sunday to get back yeah and sunday was the sleepaway camp reunion and that went all night but i think next year i definitely try to do all three days to stay and watch all the movies but it's really rad it's fun it's fun i think they can trim down the fat a little bit because i know i mean you've been to a lot of shows scarlet oubliette we've both played a lot of shows and some of those outdoor shows while they might be fun for the audience sometimes are not so much fun for the band, especially when it's super hot or if it's in like, cause I've played a handful of car shows where it's like bands aren't the focus of the event. So you get people just like kind of watching you or if it's too hot, they're just not moving. And that's what was happening there. It was right. like, you had these bands <laughs> playing and people were sitting down in their lawn chairs in the parking lot just watching them and you know they applaud and stuff like that which is cool but dude when it's like 100 degrees and you're rocking out and everyone's just kind of sitting oh, around or people uh-huh. are just like walking by it's like not a good vibe for the band i mean it's fun in general but just not awesome when you're performing to sit there and yeah. watch people like all right it's too hot i'm leaving and they just walk yeah. away and there's no crowd <laughs> in front of you and you're on this <laughs> giant ass stage like it's a whole thing so yeah. they could probably do it better if they fit like a like the vendor tent where they had some stars there f- from sleepaway camp, like another tent. So you're not just like sitting on hot ass concrete or asphalt okay. being like, all right, it's I've been here for like 10 minutes. My ass is sweating. So I got to get the fuck out of here. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. but that was cool. So I think everyone should go at least once. So and I think it's going to be in Vegas from now on just due to the weather like there's not a lot of chance of rain in vegas in october so yeah that's true but but yeah that's all i got for horror news scarlet you got anything nothing no i didn't have anything (laughs) well good that's that's it that's all for (laughs) (laughs) oh man all right this is a treat this is the only second romero film we've done in i don't know however long this i know scarlet you're shocked you're like really so really okay i mean and this is this is my first uh dario gento film Mm -hmm. yeah that's we'll get into the we'll get into things Mm -hmm. that's that's a thing i just did that to trigger you yeah i know i know you did i know but yes george a romero's 1978 (laughs) zombie <laughs> masterpiece oh, oh don't worry it's down in my didn't my... like i was like ah. um and i Dawn of the Dead. so the credits rolled oh yeah my eyes rolled and i was like oh it's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i've never watched yeah. a single movie from other than suspiria and of yeah. course he was involved in this yeah yeah argento oh so those things I, I completely forgot about it and then like you said it was like it rolled and i went uh yeah yeah Fucking, mm. fucking Italians! Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, oh, bada bing, bada boom, <laughs> ooh, a bippity boppity. All right, here's a good synopsis of the film for anyone who hasn't seen it, which probably isn't many, but for anyone who has, okay. Following the oh, events of it, Night yeah. of the Living Dead, four survivors of the expanding zombie apocalypse take refuge in an abandoned shopping mall. And then there's a bunch of zombies and shit that happens. So let's get into it. Let you know, since we already started, we already went in with it with Argento. Let's just get right. to the things we didn't like. Breathing right now. Yeah, let's just fucking jump into the things we didn't like. <laughs> Who wants to go first? 
I'll go first. I'll just get it off my oh. chest. Yeah. You're like, oh, good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let it rip. One, one of the biggest things. Yeah. Argento had something to do with this film and it, I hate it because I do not like really? Italian. Really? Because I see movement. nothing artsy about it and everything you've told me about him is like oh, artsy. Well, is. well, he, here, here's, here's what happened. So George Romero had, That's, he I'm had right an idea did. of doing it and then there was no sequel to Night of the Living Dead. Our, Dario Argento hit him up and was like, hey, dude, would you want to do a sequel? Tonight of the Living Dead. And George Romero was like, Yeah, I was thinking about it. Yeah, let's do it. So basically, Argento did the did the score, which doesn't bother me. I mean, it's goofy. The whole the whole score is goofy. It's weird. Um, yeah, it like is when weird. they first go into the gun store <laughs> and start just playing tra- tribal African music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I'm like, that's interesting. Yeah. They're not like going on a safari. A safari. Yeah. But yeah. to it, to yeah. as crazy the Italians they are, I guess. The gun. And it's like, whoop, 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 mm-hmm. whoop, 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 and, like <laughs> tribal music. And like, <laughs> this is super awesome 70s racist right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's Italian. Um, oh, yeah. So, oh, so yeah. yeah. Point. <laughs> right. So there's that. Um, oh, fucking Argento. I'm, now I'm just all heated uh you don't even know what he did or didn't do do you you're yeah just gonna, like pin you're gonna pin some romantic <laughs> <shit. laughs> you just that would to be make funny. yourself feel okay no no because you love this movie so you all know i know what he did yeah i know what he did last yeah, summer he did. I, he, tell um, he it my I do love this movie yeah. this but mm-hmm. there's it's not without criticism for one let, i mean i think this is going to be on all our list is the makeup the zombie makeup i mean yeah. bad yeah, it's blue it's awesome yeah. and, and Tom even is like a, the biggest shit bag in the world yeah supposedly he had said that he did it gray and he does realize now that it was a huge mistake because it right. came out right. blue right and the blood and he thought it would be like in black and or he was trying to give a nod to the black and white original black and white so you're just like it was fucking yeah. blue which it does look really good in Which black and white Savini, if you watch the movie like, Black and White. Sure, black and White, it looks Savini's, great. Savini is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Oubliette has such a hatred for Tom Savini. It's no, hilarious. no, I got the update today and I'm, oh. so, sad. I'm so sorry to say I told the wrong story. <gasps> I said that my husband. I've been telling people that story. story. <laughs> well, no, no. It's worse. It's actually worse. <laughs> So I said my husband's the grocery store and Tom wanted to like pay with a check and held everyone up. It's even, it's so worse. I can't remember the record store. I told him to tell me because he, he told me about it tonight. And he's like, dude, it's wrong. <laughs> so it's basically like the Amoeba <laughs> of Pittsburgh. It's just like, oh, you know, odds. odds. Store. That's it. Yeah, odds. So there was some record release. And my husband was like, like I don't know, teens or twenties or whatever. And Tom Savini cut in line because he said he knew the band, and then demanded to pay with a check. And they had no means of taking checks. It was a cash only place. Before right. Their, record stores had to take credit cards, and the kid at the register was like, "We can't take checks." That's and hilarious. He yelled at him and scary. buried him and held up the whole fucking line. And that's why my husband hates him. I mean, that's way better than the grocery store story than <laughs> yeah. I thought it was. That's yeah. even more I just hilarious. He held him up in line, and I'm so old. I'm like, oh, it's a grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, it was a fucking record release. And he like came charging <laughs> through the cut in line, and then demanded to pay with the check, and then berated them that they wouldn't take a check. Well, the important part it was, was the obvious check. That the record store was taking cash and the yeah. table didn't want to take a check. You got the important yeah. facts right. The actual place right. doesn't matter. The check part. Is the annoyance that's, that's the key, yeah. And but, Tom Savini being a dick, yeah. But you know, the makeup, yeah, it's horrible. The blood, they all acknowledge it now. They're like, oh, it was you know, shitty stuff we used, and it looked good when you're doing it. But on film, sometimes that stuff does not translate, and it did, which is also crazy because he was a host on a show about horror makeup and like <laughs> really made some women and people cry over their shit and then when i saw this movie i was like hmm. yeah you're like buddy hmm. you, they weren't all a1 yeah <laughs> they weren't all great 
<laughs> Take it easy. Um, and, and it, it wasn't even like blue over most of their face. It was just kind of like, and it wasn't even the shadows. It was just like, yeah. And then some of them didn't even have it. Right. Like right. if you're, you're, like, you're watching it shows like blue. a whole pan of them, they're like, mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. throwing somebody that looks normal. Yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. makeup just, just, just under the eyes. The <laughs> yeah, and they yeah. got his, big skin tone. Your acting job was just, you know, you're right. I just hate the flying on. kicks. So good. You, oh, yeah. You know, you can't was, forget that flying kick and the machete. You, you yeah. cannot. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Machete. And there, that's the name. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, so the makeup, and then the other thing that is all, not that this couldn't have happened, but it always was just super heavy handed and always kind of stuck out to me it was in the beginning the whole uh woolies like complete racist rant where everyone else is kind of like, huh? And he's like, Ugh. no one's really paying yeah. attention to him, they're just like, oh, all right, we're just gonna kill him, and then everyone's just like, huh, okay, cool. And like no one's like, dude, what the fuck's going on? It was just, it was just a weird. It was like, all right, Night of the Living Dead wasn't intentional, but now everyone made it seem like it had to be. So I'm just gonna plop this in there because then the rest of the story isn't. It's just like smoothed out, and there that part was just like, all right, I'm just gonna drop this huge load of racial epithets, and then boop. So this no, no. was supposed to be a direct sequel. Yeah, or like. Oh within within a range i don't think they ever put like a time frame on it it was just after at some point but and it and too long like two and a half hours is long it was so long it's so long i forgot how long that movie was i I was mad watching that this morning yeah oh no my my copy was two hours and ten minutes you that that pissed me off right you you could have gotten the uh argento's version his cut because he cuts a bunch of stuff out of it which cuts a lot of great like the great the goofy kind of uh comedic stuff was two and a half no no no, yeah yeah well there's still some stuff in there but he cuts he cuts a lot of you know just a lot of the silliness out of it so if you got the two hour version i would have watched the credits it would have been two and a half yeah but Either way, it's still long, and you could probably cut it down. But it is what it Especially is. Especially back then. Yeah, I mean it's a marathon. But hour and nineteen is like <laughs> as we've discussed. Kiss. Yeah. Huh. All right. Who wants to go next with the dislikes? Oubliette, or do, or do we want to go let Scarlet go? Who's ready? Minor. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. All right. So, so mm-hmm. I mean, it's a very much the the makeup thing was that mm-hmm. like bothered me even when i was a kid like i remember like watching it being like why are their faces blue yeah um you know and like <laughs> are they really being, cold yeah like, what's going on here um <laughs> that uh so also and then which i think i feel like i don't know so like there's definitely like i think the characters like there's certain characters in it that just like kept <laughs> making me very like especially like certain zombies like i was just like <laughs> Why is this here? Are you talking about the and fat guy, the big fat guy with the okay, shorts? First of all, the fat guy was <laughs> great because, like, especially when he yeah, just gets awful. hit, then like does a little spin and falls into the fountain. Just totally um, wails into the fountain. It's like, boop. so like, but there's definitely like it just it cracks me up that there's. I think so. I think something that makes me mad is that I laugh so much in this movie. Is um because I'm like I'm like okay like, I agree, and I laugh. I feel like for things that shouldn't be laughed at like the whole that the the um what are they called like hair krishna oh yeah guy yeah. like that zombie like i'm like <sighs> what is this doing here like why is this here and then i do think that that was i think it might be uh the you know dario guy doing it i'm just like i don't i don't know maybe not yeah like, no, I, I, I think it was just the 70s yeah, and yeah, the Harry sure. Krishna. Nobody liked it. Yeah, yeah. and back then, it's like, let's just throw him in here. And yeah, <laughs> make people because people don't like it. Let's just kill it. Let's just uh-huh. do it. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's just things like that. Um, the music was weird. The part where they do the uh, what is it when they're in like the like it's like all the good old boys in like the country, and then all of a uh-huh. sudden like it starts playing some song about I'm a man. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, <laughs> what is happening right now? And then they get, and um, then it gets to the mall, and they're like, Ding. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. you're like, what the fuck? yeah. And then, um, 
uh I know I had I had a big one. Um oh uh Steven. So yes, Flyboy. Yeah. Absolutely hate him from yeah. the beginning to the middle. And then I'm like, okay, oh, oh, you're okay, I guess. Such a fucking dude. But he's such a little yeah. bitch. Such a douche. Yeah, and he Agreed. just like, can't shoot. Like, why? Like yeah. in the scene where he's shooting in the in the oh, basement, yeah. it's like pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I'm sorry, but can we talk about the part? We're fine. I'm not no, gonna go for it. Your dislikes. No, no, go ahead because <laughs> I feel like my I feel like all of our dislikes are gonna mold. Yeah. When they actually give them like a fancy dinner, and of uh-huh. course the black guy is their fucking waiter, and waiter? he proposes, <laughs> even though the world in their eyes is about to fucking end, mm-hmm. and then he looks at her when she gives the ring back. Like you bitch, like he's gonna like, kill her. I'm yeah. just like, who the fuck proposes? Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, I think the whole waiter thing was just because by that time Roger was already dead and Peter was the like the third wheel, so he was just doing something nice for him. And then oh, they had I'm sex. doing Italian hands. See, yeah. I'm doing Italian hands. Yeah. This hey. is what happens when you move to the northeast. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see me. I am not fucking. <laughs> I'm the Italian hands. Like there is. You said I'm not racist. Fly, Flyboy, <gasps> Flyboy fucking, is a and Flyboy fucking proposes. Like, yeah, what the fuck? What he's the an fuck? he's an pregnant. interesting. Is she, she is pregnant. pregnant with his baby. Who knows? No, right? I think so. They don't no, even. Yeah. I feel like yeah. they never no. say it, but probably. No, it it yeah. sounds like no. It sounds like she's pregnant before that, and then he gets an inkling for her. No, because she's like he's I'm pregnant. He's like oh. Like, I mean, yeah, it could be, but she works I, with him, and he always loved her, and is like, "Oh, I want to take." Well, no, they're they're together. Oh, no, you're pregnant. They're together. In it's the been first scene. Yeah, it's been discussed. It doesn't seem- no, it's been discussed. They're they're a couple throughout the whole movie. George Romero has said it many times. They're an actual couple. Are you sure? I am positive. This is a creepy relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like oh, absolutely she's, positive. Something makes her weak. Okay, fine. But, yeah, but they don't okay. say he's the father, right? I mean, He's I think totally I not. guess it was just implied. No, it'd yeah, be fun to think of. Yeah, yeah. He's but not. It, Flyboy is an interesting character because he has ebbs and flows and throughout the whole fucking movie. Like he yeah. sucks, and then you're like, "Dude, you are fucking everything up!" Right, yeah. and then he like pulls some shit out of his ass that kind of helps him out. And you're like, "All you're right, like, oh, okay, oh, okay," yeah. and then he fucks some shit up again, yeah. and then. But then when the bikers, and I yeah, this very loosely. Oh. Up, they Besides were weird. Just like actually crazy. They, They're they were vets. no, they were pagans. The one guy had an SS symbol yeah, on his they were, hat. The one that they was were the phone. legitimate pagan bikers from oh, that's what Pittsburgh. They're supposed to... I mean, that's what they were. They employed actual pagans, the actual one percent gang pagans. Okay, to go okay. into the mall and do stuff. I mean, there were some actors in them, but like the majority yeah, the of those guys that, were like actual, actual real. Pagan. Yes. I mean, like pagan no. religion. No, no, pagan bikers. No, 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 the bikers. Like the biker I know, gang. The pagan yeah. bikers aren't an actual no. religion. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But the pagans are. No, it's a. Fine. It's a one percent. And a lot of them gang. were ex-Vietnam vets. Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, just biker gangs in general back then were motorcycle clubs were all vets. But yeah, I was. I found that out because I always thought they were actors. Like, oh, you got you probably had some guys around Pittsburgh with motorcycles and whatever, but they're like, I saw on an interview and on some of the extras on the commentary, they talk about, yeah, we just, you know, one of the crew guys, <laughs> we needed bikers and he knew the pagans and pagans are big in that area in like Monroeville out that way, North Huntington. Uh, funny story. I had the pagans after me once. <laughs> Well, that's not great. Because we got we got kicked out of a bar. Well, first we played a bar when I lived in North Huntington. Uh, that was a pagan bar, but that was one of the days when we were just getting banned from clubs. So we would just go to clubs with our other buddies' band, whiskey, shit, and vomit, and then we would just fuck everything up. So just broken bottles, broken everything. I mean, we fucked that place up. Electronic dart machine was broken in half. Ceiling fans were pulled down, thrown in walls, like. It was a mess. So that bar tried to sue us. And I'm like, Oops. you guys don't have any security. What the fuck you want me to do? Like, you guys, you know, not my problem. So then they had us come back. I played with my other buddies, Ben. And six songs in, I broke a bottle. 
and then they had a pagan waiting like in the back like watching the bands and six songs in they're like you're out of here <laughs> i was like all right well fuck it so i book a bunch of more bottles and bounced out of there a bit yeah but anyway i i didn't know that the bikers in dawn of the dead until a few years ago were actually pagans and i was like oh shit well there you go but yeah steven sucks he his character does suck i it's agree but he is but he does make a cool zombie I was going to say, that was the one thing is in the end, I was like, that's right, you son of a bitch. At least you look good dead. The one good thing you did through this movie, that and letting somebody just mm -hmm. grab your, or when they, the, was yeah, no, 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 never mind. That was, no, there was, that was the same thing when he got bit. And because there was like it. two leg squeezes. Well, oh, yeah. There was that one. And then they did it also too, when he, when he, when like he got climbing. right before he got bit, yep. when he was climbing up, they grabbed his leg and it was the same mm -hmm. type of thing. And I was like, damn, that pop's good. Like I, do, I did love them both of them. Both of them made me go oh. like as soon right. as I saw it. I was like, nice. uh, any like, anything else you didn't like before we shoot it over to Oubliette? Go for it. Yeah. All right, Oubliette. <laughs> the floor is yours. Oubliette's gonna be like, first of all, I fucking hate George Romero and I hate these fucking zombie movies, and I hate no, you no. for making me watch. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> there are some George Romero movies I like. Um I appreciate what he's done, but I had a revelation today. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate fucking slow moving zombie movies. Cause I'm always like, it's fucking dumb. It's so dumb. But today I was driving home from work and I was like, you know what? The people in America are so fucking dumb that these slow moving zombies at this point today <laughs> could totally fucking take them over. So, True. 80s Courtney, 90s Courtney, 80s <laughs> Oobzilla, 90s Oobzilla, <laughs> my pseudonym, the 2005 me. Or like, yeah, I hate it. But yeah, possibly, no, people are dumb as fuck. Right. But I just went to a huge family reunion in Arizona with all my New Mexico and Texas border family. And I hadn't seen most of them in 25 years. <laughs> and they have, no, listen, my aunt and uncle live on 500,000 <laughs> acres and they keep over 100,000 gallons worth of gas and propane. And I will not tell you what city they live in. And they were <laughs> yeah. telling me about stories. Oh, I, I bet. I know where to go. I know yeah, where to go. You know where to go. I'm good. Right. So what what didn't you like about Dawn of the Dead? Aside from the Steven, we all agree he sucks. Yeah. Um Roger. Fucking you... Roger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nasty. So uh -huh. it's really hard for me because I hadn't seen this whole movie until today. So I've seen every other fucking movie. Right. Not every other movie. It's so many other movies that do the same shit. And Roger, you want to fucking love him, but you can't love him. Uh huh. But there's I get it. one pivotal point where the main character should have realized when he's like, "What are you doing?" And I think Roger says something to the effect of, "I just want to have some fucking fun, man." <laughs> After he like shoots someone, the main character wanted to shoot, and then that's when he gets bit, and it's like, right. "Why?" And then every rule they give, they let him stick around. These and this, they one point the woman opens a cabinet of morphine. Uh -huh. At no point had I seen that before. And she's <laughs> injecting him with so much morphine, keeping him alive though, before he turns, thinking that's gonna help him. And I'm like, why are you using that with him? Yeah. Like, if shit goes down, you guys keep that for yourself so you can die very happy and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be a good way to go. Here is listening. If shit's going down and if there's a supply of morphine, I don't give a fuck if your best friend has their leg, like, chopped off and they're screaming. <laughs> Pour vodka on it. Yeah. Put Take a triple antibiotic and rub it right in. Like, do not use the morphine. Don't use it. Because if shit really goes down, that is your fucking like capsule you can. Oh, yeah. Bite. That's what you want. 
Um, I agree with and that. And at one point, yeah, when she grabs that, she knocks the bunch down. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, she's just been, like, giving this dude <laughs> a bunch of morphine. He's going to be a zombie. Like, why? Like, you know what's going to happen. You know, make him comfortable by, like, I don't know, knocking him out, punching him, smothering, whatever you can do. Or just like, doping him up so much that he drugs. just dies. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, don't like, um, I mean, I don't want to say don't like, but I can poke holes and things. Right. So I think if this movie came out now, people would be like, oh, bullshit. Back in the day, you can be a lot campier, fun, oh, yeah. whatever. Like if this came out today, it'd be a comedy. I think when mm-hmm. it came out back then, it was probably like maybe scary-ish. Yeah, I think part of the like because of the gore and stuff like they wanted obviously uh-huh. to make a zombie movie but they did want romero did want he he wanted to make in his own words a comic book version of night of the living dead one that wasn't so dark okay. and one that was more like light-hearted sure. and like so fun which is more of an action movie yeah definitely more action Back for then? sure okay. but yeah but that that would that would explain the uh how, why it is so campy because he's like oh let's do like sure. more of like a fun comic book version something with Latin that's loud and not cool. so drab yeah so if i look at this through like a a graphic novel kind of right like 70s eyes i can't poke holes in a lot of stuff like i i would really like it right if i wanted to poke holes in like a realistically like a realistic horror movie i could definitely do that um but i don't know if at the time it was supposed to be super campy so like i texted you right when the bikers come in Mm. oh they literally just like shoot a gun and all of a sudden a garage chain door of a store just opens guns don't actually do that right and then they turn to another store that Uh has a lock but on the other side of the door and they shoot it they don't hit it and then it goes up in the door and break i when when our our cast and the heroes were supposed to love have this giant you know ring of keys Mm -hmm. that they're like constantly if that's one thing i don't like so many scenes of them with this ring the of fucking keys. keys. Fucking like, keys. Oh, where's the fucking key? I can't yeah. do this. I can't do this. And then bikers roll in and they have the shittiest handgun yeah. ever and they pew, just pew. shoot it and they're like, oh, no lock well, anymore. Yeah. Here, here's bikers. awesome. When you texted me that, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, I just thought they were doing it at the same time. I did notice no. upon watching it though, rewatching it. So that part with one of those doors. Apparently, one of the locks that they were turning with the keys, it was like a motorized thing. So when you turned it, it lowered the gate down by itself. So when you would open it, it would open up by itself. Because I never paid attention to that. I just, you know, just went with it. Like, I didn't pay attention. And after you said that, I was watching. I'm like, well, oh, all right, I'm going to watch every time the bikers come in to where the fucking gates open. And one of, like four or five scenes before once they start getting once they start getting them all together i noticed that when steven turned one of the keys the doors the gate automatically closed so i was like oh i guess they just were like you know because back in the 70s and 80s you could in 90s you could just shoot a door open like you just hit the lock and it's like and then everything opens you didn't what (laughs) back then yeah they were always shooting locks can't get this door open i'll shoot the lock and then it would open, open the, the door. <laughs> door slides open. Yeah, so I guess that's probably yeah. the the idea they went with. But you also talk about the pies really quick. Now that we're talking about that <laughs> scene with them, why? Oh, why would they Dude. decide to start killing killing quote unquote zombies with pies and water, spray yeah. water bottles, pies? Yeah, yeah. They became like clowns for like five minutes. She, Did you she, not she, see that she, scene? It's stupid. It's very yeah. dumb, but, but it's. It needs to be in there. Yeah, yeah, has to be in there. So there's a scene where after the bikers come in and they start wrecking shit, um, they start goofing right now. Yeah, they start goofing around. They start goofing around with the zombies, like making them chase them and shit. And then at one point, they go into one of the kitchens and get a bunch of pies out. 
and then all oh, this no, no no that was in there oh, okay 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 yeah yeah, yeah and they start yeah, yeah. smashing pies in their faces and yeah. then they spray the weird clown water bottles like yeah seltzer water seltzer water <laughs> like, like what like what are you oh talking yeah about? no no tom yeah. savini is the one yeah. who sprays the seltzer water yeah yes, yeah I saw it's just that. all shit yeah. yeah it's it's stupid and if it was never in there before like it would be okay but it is in there so it's like it's just it's just part of the thing but it is yeah. ridiculous like yeah. it's stupid you're just kind of so. like what the fuck is happening yeah it is out of the blue you're like wait what <laughs> I I like was slightly like not paid attention for a second and then like I looked back up and I was like wait 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 I don't remember pies in this movie and like I had to rewind it and I was like yeah oh, that's right okay yeah they get them from the kitchen because I was mm-hmm. like where the fuck did they get pies yeah um all right well we I think we could agree there's definitely little plot holes in everything in the 70s of being the 70s there's a lot of shit and you're like that wouldn't happen. No. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. That's a, I don't want to say that's what I don't like. I actually appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. That too. part of it. Right. And it was hard because I had never seen, which I had seen part of it. After I started watching it, I realized I did. Right. And I appreciate it. And it started a lot of things, which the tropes, everything. Obviously, oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of things yeah. That I love had repeated that. But yeah, there was just some stuff that was <laughs> Um, but I well, love dumb shit. Like, yeah, I'm well, body humor. So well, we'll take it, it. Take it from there. Take. We'll start the likes. What we liked about it, since you're already, you know, you like dumb shit. Let's talk about the dumb shit we liked and go from there. Yeah. Okay. So I, I love the dumb shit. Um, the, the characters. Mm-hmm. All throw back to not like because it was really generic. Right. But I definitely love them. But Roger, fuck. Yeah. I'm just dealing with it, man. I'm just dealing with it. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, no, you're not. <laughs> you, <laughs> your leg just got bit, yeah, bro. And, yeah. And they had the woman that was pregnant was trying to be like overly tough about it. Francine, yeah. But at the same time, they taught her how to fucking fly a helicopter and she, the woman and the black man rolled she was off a- into the sunset. She was very right. Progressive movie for that time. Very progressive. I will <laughs> say, in Roger's defense, I do agree with you though. He fucked a lot of shit up. I will, mm-hmm. but in his defense, I loved him. I loved him. He was like the stupid, courageous, right? Right. Like, I just want to be the one that helps everyone. Like I yeah. love that, like Dumbo empath, jarhead kind of guy. Oh yeah, yeah. But this is something I never noticed before. Until watching it today, when they first go down into the like s- department store, him and uh, him, him and uh, Ken Forey, him and Peter. So they're sitting there talking, mm-hmm. and Rogers, his first thing was like, "Dude, let's just pack up our shit and just get the hell out of here." And then, yeah, Peter's like, "No, I've been thinking we should stay." And I'm like, "Oh, dude, you did the same thing." Mm-hmm. Ben did in the first one was like, fuck the cellar. That's not the safest place. Yeah, don't go there. When it was right. Cooper was right. Should have stayed in the yeah. cellar and shit would have been right. But I was like, oh, huh. That's water bottle mustache. You guys can't mm-hmm. see that, but Scarlet. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. my water. Yeah, bottle. I noticed that. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you guys should have just bailed. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So I started at kind of it seeming like I'd hate him, but like I love that. I mm-hmm. love that. Kind of endearing, like you think he's a numbskull, you think he's a piece not a piece of shit. <laughs> he's like kind of, well, no, he's the wild card. Hold on, wild hold wild on, card. hold on. I, I love that Uliet just used numbskull in an actual sentence, like, ah, you know, he's a numbskull. That's awesome. That made me giggle. Thank you, Uliet. <laughs> I mean, that's a real word. <laughs> it is, I know, but that's not a word you hear a lot of people use. Like yeah. in general, you know, so well in this circum that that's usually like you are used for this type proper of use of the yeah I get it yeah it's awesome yeah I used it accurately <laughs> you did but anyways like and and at the peak of his numbskullness 
you're just like oh my <laughs> god uh like wild card but like not in a hot way he's just uh and then mm-hmm. he gets bit and this motherfucker is just like keep me alive i'm gonna help you guys like yeah kill me when you need to but like i'm gonna try and then, then he's like i'm gonna try so hard not to come <laughs> back and you're like oh you poor simple man yeah you are gonna come back and they're gonna, gonna kill you but you were so sweet that was such a homo like, erotic it, scene between and him looked, and peter he looked so sad when he came back no it was. was totally like that yeah oh, no yeah you're gonna kill me now i came okay. back <laughs> This is going to sound fucked up, but like when everyone's talking about like ugh, military, this and that, or thinking about military, when you think about military ranks, right? Right. Like he is the one that's the highest up from the lowest level. You know? <laughs> he's yeah. like the highest of the army, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's that one that's not really in charge of anything. Right. But he's the highest up in the army, right below the person <laughs> in charge of that rank that's just gonna like fucking die for you. He's gonna yeah. die for anything. And that's it's sad, but like I love that movie for showing that and showing because right. they were they were just supposed to be cops, right? Yeah. And they weren't. They definitely weren't. <laughs> they were definitely more in their style military. Yeah. And like I guess they were SWAT cops. They were SWAT, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Kind of the in between. But I mean, totally. But like, I appreciated that. Yeah. Like, for most of you, think he was a dumbass, and then he really had his arc towards the end. And I think that that's nice. He's definitely loyal. Actually, having a lot of family in the military. There you go. That's a good thing. Most people (laughs) think they're dumbasses and they are in certain ways, but not in all ways. Mm. So I like that. Um, uh, I did like the story arc. I like that it started out like in a news station and people Mm -hmm. being like, what's going on? It didn't like start slow and lead into something. It started like right, like, you oh know, yeah it's going down what's happening whatever um and i like that it ended without an ending yeah all right it's yeah, one of my favorite parts about it i yeah. appreciate it now for what it did obviously oh yeah i mean it... movies followed the tropes or this one made the tropes whatever yeah i would agree with that for sure and then i'll I'll discuss that more a bit all right well good scarlet you're the guest uh i the kills uh, mm-hmm. As stupid as they were, I thoroughly enjoy the Gummy campiness bands. and the stupidness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like the the uh, the helicopter where it chops off uh, the head. That's like hands down one of my like favorite. As as simple and as stupid as it is, I'm like, well, that just happened. Totally <laughs> one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, jump yeah. in real quick Go ahead. to piggyback off of that. Um, that. That kill, they had the most iconic zombie kills and zombies of a movie. Like there's yeah. a number of zombies, but that one, that's always been one of my most favorite Absolutely. kills. Because because <laughs> it's fucking Frankenstein head, which looks stupid, but it's so big, <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, when it happens, you're like, oh fuck, fuck, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that one. The uh, also um, when uh, Peter throws like throws a zombie over the oh, yeah. the like the, on the second floor, or whatever he throws him over the thing, and then uh-huh. just like lands and dies in the fountain. And I'm like, yeah. oh no, I'm sorry, he doesn't die because then he picks up coins later. Right, that's that's right. He wasn't <laughs> dead. Um, but yeah, and there's like just things like that. Like I was like, this is fun. Um, the my favorite one which isn't necessarily a kill but it was just like the afterwards was the guy that keeps for whatever reason the biker that just keeps <laughs> wanting to put his arm in the blood pressure machine uh-huh. and then later on it just shows the arms sitting there like, you're just like okay cool but that's what that's what that was about got it you wanted to do that <laughs> no, there was so many dumb details that were so was, funny and yeah. like i think that's like hands down which one of my favorite the, things like, about it the slow zombie thing. At least they marketed like they. Did At least that. they did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That the ending. I that's definitely like a that I oh I've always liked. I always like endings that don't um actually End. like 
yeah, they don't end like it's not necessarily you don't know it's not necessarily happy because you know right. it's like how much fuel do we have? Not a lot. All right, let's All go. All right. You know, and then they're that's it. They're gone. Um yeah, I know. Oh, also too, when he kills the kids, the kid, uh-huh. the kid zombies. I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like bravo. Killed kids in a movie. Sick. Uh it's as so weird as that is. It's 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 something that you're like, you did that. Yeah. Good back in <laughs> back in June when I was back home, um they did like the 45th anniversary, like a at one of the little cons in the mall. And Ken Forey and Scott uh Reiniger and Galen Ross were there doing a little panel. And he were talking about, and he even talks about it on one of the uh audio commentaries about how he like he really didn't like that scene like doing that he didn't like shooting the kids <laughs> like that scene was awesome dude what are you talking sorry, about sorry guy it was a good one yeah right. i'd shake your hand and tell you thank you <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then just all right if just, he's at if he's at monster palooza if we go to monster palooza and, and you're there I'll, you I'll have, you have to tell it. him you have to tell him well right. i will Awesome. I'll be like, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I get a good response from him. <laughs> so he's just like, get the fuck out. <laughs> he's a like, creep. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Um, I will also say like the little things, which, so there was like a point where uh, Francine was like st- sitting or I think she was sitting down. And then like in the background is a store that says, and like, what was it? Like, I wrote it down because it cracked me up. Anticipation maternity. Yeah, like just that. I was like, what the fuck? and I was like, okay, all right, okay. okay I mean, I dig it. Um, all real yeah. stores in the mall too. That's the yeah, crazy thing. Yeah, they had a bar ridiculous. in the mall. That's so rad. Um, yeah, but yeah, and then I think of I will say have a bar in the mall. Yeah, yeah but that's like, true. There's but like a bar, that. but like a bar that's open that sold steak. Yeah, sold steak. But that was like the a, other one. It was, it was yeah. steakery. Like a bar that's open yeah. after the mall closes. <laughs> um, and I will say, I think one of my favorite things that I literally, I like laughed so hard. I like almost spit out my water because uh, I completely forgot about it. But when the biker's going to go steal the TV. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, man, what are you going to do with that? And he just goes, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> just, like, mm-hmm. it yes. <laughs> and it's like the tiniest TV. <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> Andy was laugh, Andy was very large. So hard, yeah. I was, hope he was. <laughs> I was just like that was the best. That was yeah. Andy, one of the best things. Um, but yeah, I mean, it it's yeah, it had it had its good points. A hundred, you know, a lot. Uh, the character, I I did. I really like the storyline too. Mm-hmm. Like, I am a. I I do tend to enjoy my slow burns. Um, sometimes. Yeah. I don't. Uh, but I, I do though. So like, yeah, I I enjoyed that about. But the slow burn was because the zombies were so fucking slow. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's it. That's, that's how they get you. They lull you to sleep, and you're like, ah, they're fine, no problem. Until there's they're a thousand of them, and then you're not. I have to say, for an over two hour movie, like it went okay. But yeah, there were, it... like some shining esque scenes, like right. What's up with her, like, in the mirror, putting all this makeup, and then she's, like, driving the helicopter, and it almost makes you feel like it's a different person? Yeah. She's just playing, playing around. I don't know. There there was... No, wasn't. Dress she wasn't playing around. They literally <laughs> didn't do a montage the right way. No, I know. I'm just saying. They show them doing yeah, stuff. They're just like, she's, hey. like, dressed up. Her hair is curled. <laughs> she's putting on lipstick. And then uh-huh. all of a sudden, she's, like, driving the helicopter. And he's like, you just did it. And she's like, oh. Playing with her gun. And like, I did it. And I was <laughs> like, wait, were there two women? No. That's not the same one. But it's it just was. a hard cut. And I thought maybe she was dreaming. And there was no dream sequence. Yeah. You are right about that it. That 20 minutes was bad. It's... <sighs> It's it's like too long, but it also fits the story for it being too long. I didn't say it was too long. Right. I'm saying I agree okay. with you that it's long, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's long because it fits in with the story. But, you know, yeah. it's it's a marathon when you're doing it. You're like, holy shit, this is a long movie. But it works in the story. So it's like. It's a catch twenty two for me. I don't like long movies, and it could be shorter. But I agree with you that it works within the frame of the story for it being too long. So, 
it was all worth it in the end to watch yeah. uh, Ken Ford um, yep. punch zombies <laughs> to <laughs> amazing <laughs> score. Is yeah, because yeah. you know, just starts wailing. Punching zombies with your bare hand would it's the best way to not get bit. Yeah. Or turn into a zombie. <laughs> you got a kung fu chop but them. And... Honestly, people watching this, if this happened nowadays, that is what people would do. They would. And yeah. there would be TikTok challenges about uh, who's who could get to the zombie the closest. Like, yeah. the closest oh my God. Zombie. Yeah. You would 15 be. 15 years ago. Plank on zombies. 20 years ago, I would, have been, <laughs> I would have said we would take them out. Now, I'd be like, no. <laughs> they walk. <laughs> Point. One three miles an hour. They will kill us all. I like the three in there. Uh, the point he, one three. Yeah. yeah, that's what I feel. The point one three miles an hour. That odd number makes it even worse. You're like, I Jesus mean, they Christ. won't kill me. They're gonna kill, and they won't kill you guys. But no, you know, you never better know. not. <laughs> God damn it! We fist. I'd be like, damn it! I did. It happened. I know. I know. Any but anything else? That's actually one of the funniest things in this movie <laughs> when they're like, everyone's like, "Is this gonna work?" And they're like, "Yeah, we're just gonna roll this cart through them." Oh, yeah. yeah, just run. And they're like, "Yeah, just they're gonna run towards take us out." And they're like, "No, just run." Yeah, uh -huh. it's fine. Just move fast. See, yeah. Roger was on it. He was like, "Hey, man, we'll just we could run right past them. Yeah. It's fine." And Peter's like, no, it. man, I don't know. No, we better do this thing. You gotta duck, well, dive, and dodge. People dog, doing man. dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Scarlett? No, I think that about does it. All right. I could go on for days about this fucking movie. This movie used to be my favorite movie. I can tell. Used to be. Used to be. Because when I was young, you know, you're younger, oh, yeah. you're more like aggressive and you want like... Oh, uh, this is gore and action. And uh, it was definitely, yeah. yeah, I get it. Wait, it, it you know, Garlic gets it. Right. Yeah. He's not it's saying the entire so movie. This but... wouldn't no. actually be the movie unless you want to do that in slow motion. <laughs> I'm, there was lots of action, Oubliette, and lots of gore and lots of killing. It starts off with chaos in the beginning. Yeah, I remember when the I was whole a kid watching yeah. the beginning of this movie over and being like, what is two and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, and over the course, there's a lot of and things that die. Everyone moving very slowly. Not everyone. There's a lot of people, but, but things still die. Yeah, there's a shit slowly. ton of murder and a shit ton of gore, and there's a lot of that of red chaos. blood. A lot of lot of <laughs> that super, lot of red paint. It's super cute blood. Like, <laughs> it is super cute blood. Blue cheeks. Yeah. Blood, <laughs> stretchy gum arms. That that was tight. Which I know you were young, so I'll give oh, you that. Yeah. Uh, oh my yeah. god. Oubliette, stop don't, it. Don't even. Or Oubliette's, Oubliette's being. Stop. Oubliette's like, these margaritas are kicking in. Now I'm just going to argue. <laughs> no, the margaritas are dying off. They've died She's like, off. I'm angry. The She's margaritas like, are dying off. Fuck you no, and your I'm action. <laughs> no, I'm not. She's I'm edgy. Not He's like, ugh. <laughs> but I'm anyway. Edgy. Yeah. I'm actually I, feeling relaxed. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me get back school. to my likes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I love the gore, and I Sorry, did. I <laughs> she's like, "Mommy and Daddy are fine." So I, I almost said it again. It happened last time. I, was, I, know. I agree with both of you that We're I do. Fighting. I do like the character he arc. Love slow moving. I do love That's slow movies. Me. Zombies shouldn't be fast. There's no. He likes men it's true because that one movie sucked. Yeah. With the he, he one. That one movie. There's like a million. Slow movie and bikers and leather. Each Hell for yeah. Tom Servini and leather. Wanting to like. <laughs> he combs he his. Combs his <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, and slow but, moving zombies. But I agree with both of you. Leather heads off. All right, shut up, god damn it. Let <laughs> me get this out. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with both of you. I like the arc of the characters because they all have their moments where you're like, this person fucked everything up. It, but a lot of them have redeeming qualities in the end. Like in the beginning, Francine is like, I want the help her to die. Right. She's the helpless. Oh, oh. And, you know, she's like being annoying, but. 
she's the one that has the Dylan. I want to learn how to. Yeah, well, that right there, she's like, that was the best idea because if not, they would have been fucked. So she came up with that idea. Then she became cool. Right. You know. So there's that. Um, I I agree with you, Scarlett. Like, I love the zombies and like all the main zombie kills, like the farm or not the farmhouse, but the uh, helicopter airport zombie, which super iconic. You have Flyboy zombie. Also super iconic, obviously, because we use him for the fucking logo of the band. We actually use the uh, helicopter, the airport zombie, for the original logo. So, yeah. And then there's the Harry Krishna, which is just silly and ridiculous. And then Roger zombie, <laughs> the sad waking zombie. He's like, eh. yeah, <laughs> he's sitting. He'll kill me. But all those kills with those zombies were fucking brutal. Like... They all get shot in the head, and there's just brutal. I'd say they're super fun. There are they are fun. It's part of what, but they're there's fun. there's a lot of splatter with each of them. The, yes, the but it so still makes like you go fun. like, oh. yeah, it's still like, oh, holy yeah. shit, no, I didn't. No, no. Yeah, totally. It's brutal. There are a lot of brutal. The leg thing was another brutal. I agree. Where he got his fucking leg popped. That's brutal. I'm oh like, yeah, that every, like I was like, oh. uh-huh. no, that's brutal as shit. You're like uh, you could just imagine how that would feel. Yeah, like, like, but the one the one thing that always annoys me with every fucking zombie movie, all of them, is have you ever tried to bite through someone's clothing, even a t-shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not ripping that t-shirt off. You're biting them, but you're not ripping through fucking like BDUs. You have strong <laughs> zombie teeth, though. I guess. Your teeth I guess, get stronger. I guess that's always the thing. Oh, the jaggedy teeth and it rips the clothing. But I don't come on now. Anyway. <laughs> um, but I do. I love the gore because it was fun. E- even though it's comic booky, like in the beginning when they're in the projects and the guy bites the his wife's neck oh, yeah, and it's just like, or the trap and oh, yeah, just, the or the white. arm. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's another thing they fucked up. You see that, like foam? That continuity error. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah, we forgot to paint the foam in there. All- but mm-hmm. still watching it, you're like, oh, I could just imagine how that would feel. Someone just clamping down on my yeah. thing and just. Mm-hmm. So that's one cool. of my oddly irrational fears. I mean, I wouldn't say it's irrational. Hmm. Right. I mean, it shouldn't be. But I mean, like, I guess like isn't something that probably wouldn't happen, but it could. Like, I live in Oakland. Yeah. Oh, people. Yeah. Somebody could bite could definitely. <laughs> yeah, that could definitely happen. <laughs> that is a completely I mean. like it's a, rational it's a, fear. So it is rational. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. It's rational. Yeah. I mean, and they don't even have to it's be that better. crazy. Like, I mean, it's not like a huge percentage, but yeah. <laughs> well, in Oakland, it might be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I, Oakland is probably a huge percentage. You got to watch out. <laughs> but yeah, we've all been yeah, had our. Ones had our drunk friends or like messing around and they're like arr, 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 and like trying to bite you're like dude stop biting me yeah, like, i've gotten bit by somebody once i got hella mad <laughs> i was pissed okay. <laughs> yeah. i'm glad this isn't like i'm glad this is like a normal thing because uh, i always thought it, it was kind of weird totally, normal. Okay. totally yeah. normal people just get drunk and bite people. totally um i do like how that... do you feel about sharks and swimming pools you know no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I get more scared of like something else being in there, not a shark. Ooh, don't what? ask me what. Okay. But I don't know. Like, uh, what if there's like <laughs> yeah. a looming figure oh. in the bottom of the pool or something's gonna pull me under. <laughs> something with hands. <laughs> I'm. I'm actually. I actually have a fear of being in um, greater bodies or like not greater bodies. I, I hate lakes. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Oh, a I won't person. do lakes. I won't. Yeah. Lakes are creepy. I, you'll, you'll you'll get me in the ocean before you get me in a lake. Because I'm, I've, yeah, I feel like 100%. something's going to touch me. Like, oh no, lakes. Yeah. Lakes are definitely. gross. Ocean, yeah. totally. Lakes are super gross. Because there's a lot of cool. like, it's actually, I'm more like, talk to you ocean, guys more. You're making me feel better. Cool about my lake. It's a therapy session. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, no, lakes are super gross. Like, Lake Erie, toilets in there all the fucking time. Like, I don't well, know. It doesn't matter about that. It's like, there is shit. So, like, when you swim in a lake, Literally. you put your toes down, there's all these plants and weird things. Oh, yeah. Snapping turtles. And then mm-hmm. there's obviously creatures in them, too. Which yeah. I'm not cool with. I, I like swim in many no. lakes. I used to be a camp counselor. I've trained people to fucking swim in lakes, and I can't do it. 
There are oh. disgusting things. Oh yeah. Yeah, lakes are fucking gross. And there's so many fish in there. But like, I don't like when the fish swim over your feet. Uh-uh. But or your leg. Are up there with lakes. <sighs> I mean, if it's a big pool, I could I mean you never know what's in there. No, if there are dark. shadows and pools, that yeah, I don't out. like that. Yeah. If it's dark or like be in the ocean. Yeah. I can't <laughs> swim in a pool alone. I freak the fuck out. Because my legs picking, I'll see the shadow and then I, I my imagination and then it's done. Scream. It's done. Yeah. Yep. All right. And Back. I know there's shit in pools. <laughs> no one's proved it, but I know. I fucking know. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is definitely shit in pools. Um <laughs> and shit in lakes. Another thing I liked is I like how Romero like the subtlety Romero would use. Remember when Steven was in like the control room, the boiler room or whatever, and the zombies mm -hmm. creeping around. I liked when he first gets in there and gets in the control booth and he's looking down and you just see the zombie creeping past Behind the window him. and you only see for a second, but he's in there. Like, I love shit like that. I love that, uh, that he kind of made both the, the heroes wrong kind of in the end. Like they, Ended up, le except he rectified this one where he ended up. Well, no, I guess, I guess, well, the the two leading leading actors, but they both end up doing something that they should have done a long time ago in the movie. But like we were talking about the length of the movie, it starts off all crazy. And that's another thing I like he did with that is even though it's a huge setting from the beginning, he still has that element of like anxiety and chaos because yeah. everything's fucking crazy. You're like, ah, and when they get to the mall, you're thinking, oh, fuck, this is rad. You know, I mean, if you're from Pittsburgh, you're like Monrova Mall. Cool. But who wouldn't want to have free range in a fucking mall? You just do whatever you want. You're like, OK, cool. They get everything set up yeah. and they start cleaning everything up and they get complacent and they get settled in and they're like, but OK, why didn't they set booby traps everywhere? Wait, that is a good point. They should have. You would think because they got complacent. They're oh, like, no, I know why. Because they never saw Home Alone. Yeah, way before Home Alone. <laughs> way before. So they couldn't. See, if this should happen now, you know. Don't lie to me. We would It'd all set up guy. that shit. Oh, everywhere. 100%. Goonies and Home Alone, we would set that shit up everywhere. It Let's wouldn't work, but we would try. <laughs> well, even so, you would think they would try and... I mean, I get they blocked off the entrances with the truck, so they... They did. They used those locks to... Right. You know, but you would think they would they would hands. think if someone did get in, we should have some sort of like protection against that, but they didn't. So that's a good point. Well, they yeah. should have with the gun store, you yep. can empty those bullets, grind them down every time you grind gunpowder down, four times more powerful. There you go. Everybody knows that shit. Or they right. should. Come on. <laughs> but I I like Come that on. that he that you could still keep that sense of fucking anxiousness and just anxiety in the whole thing and the characters back to the characters i do like them because they were all like crazy they each had their moments of them just being fucking insane we're like dude calm the fuck down and like you said before oubliette oh, it 100 percent did set up like the blueprint for like every zombie movie every zombie show that gets the different type of characters in it where you're like okay you always have the one guy roger you know, he's a fucking SWAT guy. He has his head on straight, head on. No, all you're going to do, but he ends up losing well, it super say, quick. I don't watch zombie stuff. I just mean every horror movie ever. Or well, that too. Or a crisis movie ever. Or right. a world ending movie ever. Right. But it's specifically like zombie movies. You always have the guy who you think they're, they're not going to keep their, they're not going to lose their cool. And then they end yeah, up fucking flipping out and doing a bunch of jumping around like a smacked ass and fucking dropping their bag and getting bit by a zombie and he's like i'm fine man i'm fine blah, 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 and just i'm good which yeah. is very similar to all the war movies you see yeah that yeah yeah there's always that one person that's like got their shit together mm -hmm. and you're like fuck yeah so that's like i'm going to world war whatever and they're no cool. they're the cool guy they're the cute guy they're whatever yeah, they're ones they are the ones who lose their shit. yeah and with any I'm romero sure. movie I like I like how they used a lot of the same actors and a lot of people from just the town back. Yeah, you know, I guess now you can't do that so much with all the regulations and everything. But you know, most of those extras didn't get paid. They just I just want to be in a fucking zombie movie. I just want to do whatever. And they oh, you, used you can still do that now. Well, I mean, you could yeah, you could do that, but 
if you're paying people, there's certain things that you have to abide by. Where back then in the 70s, they were just like, oh, here's five like, bucks. Here's this t shirt. Yeah. Here's five bucks and you're going to work you know. 70 hours straight. And they're like, okay. And sure. it well, was no, fine. That's what's weird now. You can still do that. They did that when they filmed at my restaurant. They say if you want to be an extra, they pay you $30 a day or 40 unless you sign up for a SAG or Oh, that. right. Yep. And then they have to pay you way more. But if you forfeit those, they don't have to pay anyone anything. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And I liked how they did that. And if anyone didn't notice, Captain Rhodes was one of the policemen at the dock yep. when they go he's just carrying shit but when the guy's asking for cigarettes hey you got any cigarettes uh, and they're all like nah man he's one of the dudes mm-hmm. that's just carrying shit in the background well, another scene i liked where they're like no no cigarettes well, sorry buddy and then they all get in the helicopter and they're like ah spark up a smoke <laughs> like sucker but, got him. yeah they're and, son of a bitch. yeah and i think it was fun i think the movies is fun and that's what i liked about it i can go on for days about it but no it's super fun but do you guys think when it came out it was scary yeah yeah, yeah i mean because like when i watched it really? when i was a kid and i mean granted i wasn't you know it was like 90s but i like was scared of it um i mean, I, mean it was, I, I don't know i was yeah like it created like the beginning of it freaked me out Right. I remember like watching the very beginning. I was like, oh, my God, like, what is this? And then I'm sure I probably like wasn't paying attention for a decent. And then I was like, wow. Oh, my God. What are these things? But I don't know. I mean, I think now it's like, of course, well, yeah. it's not going to be scary. You know? Yeah, and it was 100 percent scary back then because people just 1978. I mean, you saw some gore, but zombies were still scary. And they're like, oh, my God, there's these dead people walking oh that's scary regardless of it looking silly as hell but uh, especially anyone that was a little older are still going to be like oh Mm -hmm. they're still not used to seeing a head explode or chunks getting taken out so i'm sure people are getting movies around that time that had done that yeah but not on the scale of, of this like, I think just seeing it, people just weren't, I mean, you you would see Night of the Living Dead or other random stuff, but this was a pretty big film. So people still weren't used to seeing intestines and stuff being ripped apart. So Not about the intestine scene. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy screaming, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Halloween came out before this. Yes, but there's almost no blood in Halloween. I was going to say Halloween was more just scary because there's just a guy like that was very ominous and like following you, but it didn't really have that. Like, and then black, aspect. yeah, black Christmas before that, where and then the, a stranger calls and all that stuff. But, but you Alice, know, sweet Alice, mm-hmm. which was gross as fuck beyond yeah. the door. Hills have eyes came out before this. Yeah, that's a good one. Hills have eyes was much, 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 much more gory and serious than this. More serious, but I the mean, Exorcist, Last House on the Left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was right. definitely. Well, that's movies. what I mean. Like, do, did people really feel like this was scary? Because there were so many more scary things before this, and this to me seems so campy. Yeah, Which isn't bad. No, like, but I yeah, love it's a... camp. But like, I'm I'm wondering if people at this time really actually were like, "Oh, I'm scared of zombies." Yes, a hundred percent. You think? I know everyone in Pittsburgh would be like, oh, my God, that movie fucking terrified me when I was, you know, I mean, 30 when I saw it. Sure. Especially it being your own town, too. That would be like that. That would make yeah. it like more like, ooh. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Anyone that's like in their 60s now or 70s now that still wasn't used to seeing. And, and a lot of those movies, Last House on the Left, nobody saw. The Hills Have Eyes, nobody saw. Like those were all driving movies until later totally. yeah you know yeah. so in the 70s you may you know people were probably like Ugh, that did see it probably like fucking but gross did that many people see this when it came out oh yeah like a big thing yeah and it got uh distribution over in europe because of our argento so a lot of people did see it and since he had so much success with night of the living dead by then mm-hmm. 
it caught on. So it was like, uh oh, a new zombie movie from George Romero. So I think it was more so yeah. of like funny the, story. The first movie I ever saw in a movie theater was Return of the Living Dead because yeah. my aunt took me to it on accident as she said. <laughs> but... Quote unquote. Yeah. I don't no. Know. Even if I was a kid, I don't know if I would have found this one scary. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's more like Mad Max Running Man kind of. Level. Yeah, but you got to think. Like, it's fun. Uh, yeah, but by our age, 80s and into the 90s, like, we were exposed and desensitized so much. Like, I never thought this was sure. scary when I saw it. But sure. if I grew up in the 50s and not, you know, we grew up watching people's heads blow up. <laughs> if I was someone who went most of my life never seeing a body get ripped apart, I'd probably think this was gross. Yeah. They, pr- they might not have thought it was necessarily, like, scary per se. But they would think it was gross, like ew, that's fucking disgusting. Oh, or oh, totally, like the stretchy skin. Yeah, like or have it be blood s- shot, the, the thought shot. of it be scary. I would, I would yeah. say, but, but it yeah, was I mean, in it, the same timeline as action movies with headshots, and crazy yeah. shit. That's what I was asking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they may not be like terrified, like exorcist scared, because they're like, oh my god, that can like really happen. Because it was well, mainly because I know yeah. a lot of movies had like a thing where people went in and like ran out, and there was like hysteria and it affected. The yeah, no, I mean people. Were, I just didn't know if this did that around PA. People were probably. I don't think they ran out because they, like I said, they were kind of already introduced to George Romero, so they knew what was going on through Night of the, Night right. of the Living Dead. So they're like, oh, okay, it's going to be a zombie movie. So they're like, oh, it's gross. So they're expecting it to be gross and by the late 70s you know they're getting a little more comfortable with horror movies but right the feel you know you still get the older people that are in their 30s and 40s that are like oh my god this is disgusting i would i would be terrified if a ghoul came broke down my door and bit my neck off so but oh yes the ghouls and the banshees (laughs) the technical term for these zombies the ghoul ghouls All right, so let's rate this bitch. Dawn of the Dead, nineteen seventy eight. Scarlet. What are we giving it? I'll give it. I'll give it three. Okay. Three candy corns. Three juicy neck biting zombie candy corns. That one. <laughs> Who likes to go swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> that scene always, always <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> But it doesn't seem real the way he, like, no. nothing compresses on him. No. Like, he just boop and just slides yep. right into the thing. It's like he's, yeah, fat zombie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oubliette, what are you giving it? I will give it a 2.75. Okay. I, I can I can live with that. I think uh, it's lovely. I think it paved the way for so many things uh, after seeing it. I realized how many movies bit off of it. Mm-hmm. Literally. Um, ah, puns. I would watch it again, but I don't know if I'd choose to watch it again. Yeah, it's... If that makes sense. It does make sense. If it was on, you'd be like, okay, cool. Then you wouldn't be sleek it out. I get it. Yeah. But if I had seen this when I was a kid, I mm-hmm. think I'd probably bump it to like like 5.75 more. Okay. I that's acceptable. Now for me, I'm giving it a four and a half neck eating well, zombie yeah. candy corns. Because Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah I'm zombie, I'm completely biased. Romero, yeah. Tom Savini. And you grow up. He's like Tom I'm Savini. just dicks. Uh, <laughs> zombie dicks. Yeah. And I just I'm I love zombie movies. Like that's my jam. So this being in Monroeville at a mall that you used to go to all the time and you get to, and just the people growing up because back in the day when malls actually had independently owned stores, mom and pop shops, you could go there and hear all the stories like, oh yeah, on this day, they kept the bottom half of the mall open. And then the second story was closed for shooting. So we get to you know, see them make the movie while we were open and the mall was running or, you know, they'd close at night and do the 
the shooting throughout the night and you, there'd be a janitor yeah. there or like whatever, you know, stuff no. like that. Like, that's cool. Hub said the same thing last night when I was going to put it on. He's like, why are you watching this? It's like podcast. And he's like, this is a good movie. Uh-huh. And I was like, really? Because you talk shit about half the movies that I watch with podcasts. He's like, yeah, I used to go to that mall. Grew up there. Uh-huh. I heard a lot of stories <laughs> about the shooting. Put a lot of money in the economy. That yeah. movie's good. And I was like, you know, uh, Tom Smee is in the movie. And he's like, fuck that guy. And he's yeah. like, <laughs> I didn't say another word. <laughs> I was like, Okay. He likes the movie. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not, you know, he's not wrong. If you're going to grow up, it's like the Steelers, man. If you grow up in Pittsburgh, you're just, you grow up Steelers. You grow up Romero movies and you know someone who's been in one or are related to somebody who's been in one or been in one yourself. So all this stuff, it's like super familiar. And back when movies used to do product placement, like a lot, you know, you get to see, oh, Iron City, Iron City. And you hear the accents. I have know. Iron City in my kegerator right now. See, it's horrible. I have a keg. <laughs> it's <laughs> disgusting time. beer. But... Because my sister-in-law drives it up so my husband can drink it. Even though he doesn't even drink. But like one day a week. So it lasts for like a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's fucking disgusting. But yeah, I mean, just growing up around it, it's fun. It's gory. It's, you know, gross but also comical and there's a lot of good kills. And like I said, a lot of good zombies, which for whatever reason, zombies don't stick out anymore. They kind of make them all look the same. They're all the same. It's all the same shit. Yeah. That's the thing I miss a lot. Like with monsters, you know, you get your Freddy and Jason and all that. Like you want something in a movie that sticks out in these old, like especially Romero's Romero movies, you know, night of living dead. You had, you know, Johnny and, the daughter like all these people making becoming zombies and you're like oh those are like iconic looking zombies and it did it in this one in day of the dead bub or that opening scene with the zombie with his mouth with no jaw and his tongue hanging out like there's iconic pictures of these gruesome beings so i like that so yeah i love this movie and i watch it often <laughs> i gotta pack a lunch but i watch it And it averages out to about 3.4 on the candy corn scale, which is pretty high for this podcast. So anyone else got anything else to say on this Halloween edition of Monster Candy Podcast? Mm. No. Yeah, by this time, Oubliette would have played Fest with Tsunami Bomb, huh? Yeah, and I have four new songs to learn and two days to do it. And I have uh, two 12-hour work days. Wee! You mean you have four new songs that you learned and played and fucking rocked at Fest. Yeah, because it's already Mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. (laughs) I love these time travel episodes. You got this by the ass, to quote Roger. Dude, I've pulled it together every (laughs) time. I have. Of so, course you do, because you're a goddamn professional, it. Oubliette. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, professional asshole. Uh, That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, cool. Well, I hope everyone is having or has had a uh, great Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Halloween. And uh, thanks. Thanks for Scarlet Married Rick. Welcome for joining us again on this episode of Monster Candy Podcast. And uh, we'll see all you other little jagoffs later. <laughs>
looks that big old storm right square in the eye and he says, Get away from her, you bitch! You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Your move, creep. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make.